had a fair share of some quarterbacks. Yeah. Can they, you believe you've had ten? Yeah. You've had she, ten. Yeah. Is it ten already or Sandy ten? <laughs> Can you name yeah. them all? I have to go. Colt McCoy. Nice pass by Colt McCoy on the slant. Case Keenum. Keenum to throw left. Fires. Caught. Terry McLaurin. Touchdown. Alex Smith. Touchdown, Washington. Alex Smith to Terry McLaurin. Dwayne Haskins. Haskins throws over the middle. Has McLaurin into the end zone. Uh, how many is that? You're four. Taylor. OK. That's a classic Heineke play, escaped from a collapsing pocket. And what a play by Terry McLaurin. Kyle Allen. Throwing deep down the left sideline. That's Terry McLaurin. Wide open. Pitch. Catch. Touchdown. Sam. Hell, here comes his first pass. Vice Terry McLaurin to the dead. Five. Touchdown. Um, uh, caught a pass from Logan Thomas on Thanksgiving. OK. They hand off to Logan Thomas, who steps back and throws a pass. It's a trick play, looking for McLaurin. Finds him. First down, Washington. Um, that's seven. You're eight. That's eight? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, uh, Garrett Gilbert. Keep making those type of plays. Garrett Gilbert will trust you, and he'll keep throwing it to you. Uh, Carson. Went steps up, taking a shot down the field. Has McLaurin caught in the dead. Touchdown! Dude, that's good. Yeah. 10 out of 10, give yeah. it up. I'll take quarterbacks who throw, throw me the ball in the last four seasons yeah. for 100. Yeah. Terry McLaurin has had to get adjusted to plenty of quarterbacks, but he makes it look easy. McLaurin has recorded 1,000 receiving yards in three straight seasons, something that hadn't been done in Washington since Henry Eller did it 27 years ago. Bobble caught by Henry Eller. What a great catch. For McLaurin, it's nothing new. Being able to adapt and take advantage of opportunities is something he's done his whole life. No matter how many opportunities you get, bro, bro. make that happen, man. Remember what I told you? Show opportunity, bro. Keep going, man. I know that a big mantra for you is, you know, it's even on your Twitter handle, yeah. trying to make the most of the opportunities right. that you're given. Yeah. Where does that mindset come from, and, and yeah. how is that something that has continued to be a part of the fabric of who you are as a player? Yeah, I think, um, honestly, I've had to earn each and every opportunity that I've gotten up until this point, dating back to high school, where I didn't even start a high school game until the end of my junior year. It was late. I always kind of had that, I hate to say chip on your shoulder, but I had to just earn everything yeah. and grind. The wait was worth it. His senior season, McLaurin was named Mr. Indiana as the best high schooler in the state. It's an honor. It feels good. It feels really good. Still, he had to earn the opportunity to play at his dream school. You've been invited to camp, right, right. at Ohio State. Right. So take us through that and sort of yeah. what happened after that. I go to the camp, I'm killing it. Like, I'm winning every one-on-one. -on -one. I win the fastest man, 4-3, all that, up and down. I think I'm going to get good. this off. I'm feeling great. Yeah, so I'm like, like I'm Thumbs sitting up. up. I'm mm -hmm. like almost like sitting up in my <laughs> seat, like ready for him to offer me. I'm in there with Coach Meyer. And he was like, you know, your speed is great, but your ball skills aren't quite what we would like for them to be to offer you right now. And Coach Meyer was like, you know, you do these things, we'll come back, we see where you are. So I catch 200 footballs literally every single day for two weeks. And when I come back, I go through like, 10 minutes of drills, and he's like, all right, you're done. And I'm like, did I do good? Did I do good? Yeah. Like, like, what's I got happening? more. Yeah, 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 I'm ready. And so, um, you know, we go back into his office, and he was like, you know, we want to offer you a scholarship. McLaurin earned his offer, but still needed to prove that he belonged on the field. A few of my teammates at the time, we all kind of as a group came together and started creating drills that could really help my ball skills. I would put the dummy in front of a jugs machine. I was trying to create drills that were unusual, that would kind of simulate me playing in a game. I would hit the bag, and then I would have the person shoot the jugs machine, and I would catch the ball. I couldn't see the ball at first, so it was kind of really allowing me to work on my reaction, and then the bag is hitting my hand, so it's working on, like, mm -hmm. securing the catch, and then I would aim the jugs machine up a little bit, and I would work on going over top. So I caught footballs, tennis balls. I was out there every single day after class and I started to see my confidence grow. I started seeing that happen in practice. I started getting more confident to go up with my hands and go over people in practice. And then after a while, it kind of started to become like second nature, like the other parts of my game. By the time he got to the NFL as the 76th pick in the 2019 draft, he turned his weakness into a strength. 
He's one of like the only guys that I consistently see go up and moss guy with like a chest catch instead of you know attacking a ball and he's really good at doing that. That's just his signature catch. McClure jumps over the defender. Honestly, I think it's the fact that he's that strong to go with, you know, with your chest, because usually most receivers go with their hands, but like the fact that he's able to rip the ball off like defenders with his chest. His ability to make contested catches is the best in the National Football League. At 50-50 ball, I'm going to take me. At 50-50 ball, I'm going to take me. He did it against Stephon Gilmore for us to win the game against the Colts. That is towards Terry McClure to fight for it at the one, and he's got it at the one-yard line. What a catch by McClure! He fought with Stephon Gilmore, and he pulled it down. He just ripped that. That was all his will against Stephon Gilmore. It's unorthodox, but really in contested catches situations, body catching really helps because it can keep you between the defender and the ball sometimes. You're in the middle of the field. You got a safety bearing down on you. You got a corner that's trailing you. Sometimes you have to flatten off the angle to catch the ball and keep you either from taking a big hit or keeping you between the defenders converging on you. The more you, ways so. you can catch, the more ways. The better. Exactly. Sometimes the best way to make a catch is just by getting separation. Something the porn excels at. Come on, man! Come on, man! Come on, bro! I had to take the field to right. see it for myself. Yeah. There is a lot of different routes that you could, or particular mm -hmm. plays that you could point to, yeah. but do you have one that stands out? Coming into the league, I didn't really run this route a lot in college, but it's called a shake route. I love the route because it forces the defender to be honest. It forces him to respect all angles of the cut. It's, it's good against any okay. type of coverage, in my opinion. So it's five step vertical, three to the post, out to the corner. corner. Okay. Right. In my head, I'm thinking one, three, five to the post. My eyes, my whole demeanor is like it's a Because it's a it's gotta, I got to believe it. You're believe gonna it. Catch. So now I cheat because I'm thinking exactly. you're actually going to get the ball. So three to the post means one, two, three. And now I have a decision to make depending on your leverage. Okay. So if you're close like this, I'm probably going to try to throw you by and come underneath you. But now you beat me. And now I got you. Yeah. Great route running again from Terry McLaurin. Threatens to the inside and then breaks to the outside. And now I'm all twisted. Exactly. He sweat. <laughs> For those of you who yeah. know what I'm talking about. All right, so maybe I'm no DB. But I had to make the most of my opportunity, just like McLaurin has his entire career. You went mm -hmm. from having to prove to Urban Meyer that you yeah. could catch the football, to being a third rounder, to yeah. now being the face of this organization. Yeah the little boys or the little girls that are watching this interview mm -hmm. that maybe aren't getting the opportunities that yeah. they think that they're deserving of. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have yeah. for a young Terry? I think the number one thing is to continue to have confidence in yourself. Continue to be ready for your opportunity. Maximize those opportunities that you do have, no matter how big, how small. The journey is the reward. <laughs>